Okay, Dolores, please don't put those pieces up in that office. Everybody, let's just put our bingo chips away and we'll move on to the next craft. Little horse, sorry for raising my voice. Sorry for hitting you, Blanche. It's working on my anger. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at you. You look amazing. Come here. Big hugs, big hugs, big kisses. Your breath still tastes like you, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my sister's kid. Yeah, they're here for the day. It's part of the program, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's your auntie look? Clean? She look normal now? She's off. She's off the lithium. Mm-hmm. Well, can't say I'm off the lithium, but I'm on smaller doses. Nothing wrong with that. How are you doing? You are looking incredible. Oh, my goodness. Look at that hair. I might have got a little lipstick in it. You got something on your face. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody here, just pick up your pieces. Come on, put it away. Come on. You, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This is so over-repetitive. I can't, I can't deal with it. I cannot believe it. You are looking incredible. How's my language? Do I seem a little bit more normal to you? Yeah, they put me here in charge of the old folks' home craft activities, and I get to sleep in the closet. The janitor's closet, sweetie. Well, I guess the program doesn't allow me to sleep here. I should be over at the halfway house, but they got me. Well, the guy I'm kind of seeing, the janitor here, mm -hmm. he lets me sleep in the closet so I don't have to go over with all the other mean girls. They're not very nice to me over there because I've been taking care of my looks. I mean, look at this. I got, I got everything I think figured out except for the brows, you know? Never really learned that, even in jail. But why don't you just grab a seat? We're going to start the craft. I got bird houses today. So your auntie hasn't really worked on her stealing much, but that's okay. Because I got this whole craft day for free. And everybody gets to have a little bit of fun. So why not, you know? So yeah, just grab your seat. Do you want some tea or coffee? We got orange juice that's been sitting out for a week over there. But let me tell you, reminds me of the time I used to take that LSD. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> Makes your stomach a little sick, but I'm telling you, you see some colors. You should see these women when they're... <sighs> their medication's kicking. As long as I'm not tonguing it and selling it to the girls at the halfway house, that's probably why they don't like me, but it's okay. So the program sets you up here, because I know your mother won't let you see me. Your mother never lets so what boyfriend is she on now that I probably already slept with? Okay, no insults to your mother. All right, everybody, come on. Go ahead and pick up your birdhouse kits. And... Mm -hmm. No, Edna, please, please stop trying to eat everything that isn't a type of food. She has dementia, kind of like my grandma did. That would have been your great-great-grandma. But... She seems to think it's okay to eat everything. I don't know. They actually told me that I had dementia. And it might be the glaucoma, but damn. I can remember everything. Like the first time I seen you, snuck over into my apartment. Hey guys, go ahead, grab a kit. Grab a kit, we have so much time here today. Well, no, we really actually have like 30 to 40 minutes. And then you gotta get the hell out of here. But, okay everybody, pull out your paints. Came with some wind chimes. Some more wind chimes. An instruction booklet. 
been a little bit slow, so. Some glue. In the wood house. Yeah. I might not be all the way off the lithium, but they put me on some Adderall, so I'm not falling asleep all the time. Hey, it's better than them thinking that I'm out doing something I actually am, but trying to trick them that I'm not. So all you have to do is just tell them, do your makeup up a little better, even though I want to be myself and just smear it, but I can't. I can't do it. You know, it gets so tough sometimes, but anyway. All you have to do is tell them, I'm doing so much better. I'm working on it. I'm trying. Come to find out that you're not. And you're just doing a little bit worse. Only you're making a little bit more money. Yeah. Okay. So I do seem a little bit more gentle. This is the only life I know, you know? Everybody pull the little hemp string off your birdhouse. Then just throw it on the floor because my daddy, I call him daddy, he'll be in to clean it up. Okay, so let's figure out the instructions. Go ahead, sweetie. Come on, build a birdhouse with the auntie. I haven't seen you in that long. Step one, set up your work area. Okay, so Edna hasn't cleaned up any of her bingo chips, so Edna's not getting a cookie. Step two, assemble the birdhouse. All right, everybody, so just follow me. You know, to be completely honest with you, this just keeps my social security up. They got me on disability for mental illness. Let me tell you something. I suffer from depression. I suffer from anxiety. That's mental illness. But they're trying to tell me, they're trying to tell me that I'm crazy. Okay, I'm fine with taking the social security check or the disability check, no problem. But I mean, come on, crazy. Depressed, yes. Anxiety, a little bit. We got Xanax. We've got, you know, all kinds of stuff for that. But please don't tell me I'm crazy. Sometimes the truth hurts the most. All right. So, A. There are no peg holes facing up. Did I forget? to put the peg holes on the birdhouse. Yes. Okay, guys, next, what you're gonna wanna do is put this part here. See how nice it is to live? Oh, you have to apply glue. how much glue they give you. That's not even enough to sniff. Come on. Okay, everybody. I might have to collect all these glue containers when you're done, so don't waste it. Please. Oh, the staff? I am the staff, sweetie. The rest of them are taking their time messing around in the janitor's closet. You can just call him Uncle Holmes. Your Uncle Holmes told them, why don't they go clean out the closet I'm sleeping in while I direct the activities? Technically, I'm only supposed to be, yeah, just like that. Yes, Gladys, just keep it up, just keep it up. Anyway. Yeah, technically, 
to be completely honest, I'm supposed to be picking up the trash around the area. And that's kind of how I met Uncle Holmes. Yeah, I'm not really supposed to be running the activities here. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Lying gets you sometimes, you know? It gets you real far places. Don't you want to learn from your aunt? Okay. All right, everybody. Just go ahead and let the white stuff fill up the holes. You guys are too old to understand what that means. But your auntie is never too old. They say if you never celebrate your birthday, you never get old. So maybe y'all aren't too old because you're all suffering. It's pretty sad. It's the reality of life, though, sweetheart. You seem pretty quiet. Go ahead and come on. Come on, get your, get your birdhouse up. Okay. Very good, everybody. Very, very good. See, I like helping out the old people. They're the only ones who are nice to me. Even with my problems and everything like that, you know? Let's see, where does this go? Nope. Nobody really listens to you, Auntie. I know it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf, but everybody deserves to be listened to, including you. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Linda kind of whacked you in the back of the head with uh, one of these, but I took care of her. Yeah, I called Uncle Holmes. He came in and took her out and took her to the med counter, give her her stuff. Yeah, I forgot. I kind of tongued her, uh, her anxiety meds this morning and sold them outside and she didn't really get to take them, so she was a little bit on edge. Yeah. I'm so sorry. How's your head? Can I... Oh, come on. Stop. You got some on your face again. Let me just... Yeah. No, I thought she was getting her anxiety meds. I didn't actually know that I took her... I thought I was taking her double dose for the day. Yeah, see, I got all these women here under the under my control, pretty much. They say that their dose isn't working, and then they, you know, raise it, and then I take half of what they're on, so they are getting what they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd never take off an elderly person like that to get out of here. I will say, though, I did kind of sell. Oh, who was it? Let me get rid of these. It was a rosary. Just can't remember which. You can get a lot of money for those. Depends on what they're made out of. Okay, everybody, go ahead and put the glue. Yeah, we kind of skipped a pot. You were out for like a whole minute. Anyway. Yeah, everybody, just keep filling up the holes with the white stuff. <laughs> That's funny, Edna, isn't it? Yeah, you would think it's funny, wouldn't you? Okay. Yep, see it? All right. Let's get this set. Yeah, who needs directions, you know? If I had direction in life, I'd never be where I am today. And apparently, that's nowhere. There we go. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Sorry I'm itching my face. It must be all the medication. I gotta take these curlers out soon. I gotta go see my parole officer. Yeah, they still got me on that parole. It ain't nothing to be ashamed of, though. I'm happy. 
kind of kind of happy okay everybody you know what while everybody lets this dry this is what it should look like so far I'm gonna take out these rollers yeah the lice never seems to go away but I kind of like it there you know I'm kind of lonely Oh no, they're stuck. Good thing I got some scissors, you know? Oh, don't worry about it, sweetie. I'm just getting a little pot, see? I could kind of make this look. What do you think? Oh no, I can't feel it, honey. I'm so doped up. I'm just a little bit more calm than I used to be, huh? Why do you keep coming back, though? Why do you keep coming to see you, Auntie? Kind of makes me sad. Kind of makes me want to change. Almost as if somebody truly is listening. And not just the men I'm, you know, going down on in the backs for, you know, a couple dollars each time. So I can figure out who to go rob next, you know? Makes me feel wanted. It's nice. Come to visit me four times in two years. Ouch. Okay, maybe I can feel it a little bit. Yeah. Well, I love you too, you know? Stop putting it in your holes. Stop. Stop it gonna have to call Uncle Holmes. Yeah, exactly. Calm the hell down. All right, anyway. Yeah, that's super kind, you know. It truly does make me feel wanted. Maybe sometimes the trouble just needs somebody to truly listen to them. And they wouldn't go out and steal and eat a bunch of drugs and be in prisons and jails. It's kind of like murderers. They will want somebody's kid. I'd never murder anybody. The more to manipulate, the merrier. No, honey, I've never tried to manipulate you. It's because you've actually been a good part of my life. Your auntie thinks about you a lot, okay? All right, so I'm gonna finish this real quick and then we're just gonna leave it alone till the end, because this isn't working out too well for us. Oh, honey. You're back. You okay? <laughs> you fall out more times than I do on my medication. glad to know you okay so everybody kind of left they didn't feel like painting anymore actually some staff came and I had to pretend I was somebody's daughter but I finished the birdhouse and I'm gonna give it to Uncle Holmes on the way out all right with that being said, let's get some painting. You know, you got me real calm now. I'm kinda. kinda nervous. It's weird. All I need is someone to talk to, and I don't really ever have anybody to talk to. So, what color should we paint our house? Yes, yeah, sorry if you hear some, some noise. Um, maybe we got one straggler that uh, Uncle Holmes had to put away for a little bit because they were threatening to tell on me. And this is kind of my sanctuary. I don't want to be out here, so... How about we paint a B? 
big giant green fuck you to Uncle Holmes, huh? For taking advantage of me like they all do. Yeah? Okay, let's do that. Would you look at that? There we go. But yeah. So your auntie's probably gonna stay here until she gets caught. And goes back to jail and then claims insanity and then goes to the mental institution. And then she'll probably find somewhere else to migrate. Because she never changes. And some people just never change. That's why we gotta love them the way they are. Unless they're pedophiles or murderers. Then the people who... I don't know what to do with them, you know. I may be crazy, but I'm not that crazy. we go. How about we draw a giant heart? But your auntie kind of likes living over here. Sleeping in the closets. Stealing the medication and selling it. It's a lot more quiet. I've seen nurses do much worse. They would take the elderly's medication and do it right in front of them. I make sure they still have what they need while making little profit. And I bring some fun to the place cares, you know? This is America. Don't catch you slipping up. Okay. One big giant heart. But it's always nice seeing you. Now that I know and realize that you actually come back. Nobody ever comes back for the sick. It's good to know you do. Keep your heart up, kid. Don't end up with a life like mine. Okay, I have an idea. Painted the giant heart. Put the paints away. some lipstick. I may stay with Uncle Holmes because I know you can't take care of me and I do need somebody to take care of me. What I said earlier about the social security, I just wish people would take people with mental illness more seriously and stop claiming it as something that's not I mean, we're grateful for our checks, but... Since I have to stay, why don't you take the birdhouse instead of me taking it and giving it to Uncle Holmes and causing a domestic issue that, you know, I can't really come back from? You think? This is my first road to actual recovery. Someone listening to me, so now I'm trying to give back without making a little bit of cash. Instead of getting all my red lipstick all over you, just give it to you. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it that way. Let's take some blue.
love. with those but yeah I'm tired well it was real nice seeing you and I hope you come back I know today was a little bit sad a little bit confusing that's normal auntie's getting too old to keep living this life though but after realizing you keep coming back, Yanti would be willing to change for you. Go get some help. Maybe we can go to a counseling session together. Go have lunch. Maybe your mom will let me come home for Christmas. You never know. Maybe Yanti will stop selling medication. No, no, probably not. Probably not. But that's okay. That's okay. So, yeah. Well, honey, I can hear them stomping down the hall. You should probably go out that exit door before they block it. I'll get removed and end up coming back in. Yeah, I think the one downstairs got out and told on me. That's what happens. Yeah, sorry you kept getting knocked out and everything like that. It's completely okay, though. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I love you, sweetie. Yeah, a big hug for you, Auntie. Oh, yeah, sorry, I stole that. Forgot to take the tag off it. Sorry. I guess I'm rubbing it in more. Oops. You'll be fine. Hurry up and get out that exit door before they come. Don't worry, I can fight back. I got tiger claws. I love you, sweetie, and I'll see you soon.